So we want to continue our look at the spiritual disciplines, uh, continuing to look at how we can form our thinking or our reasoning uh, when it comes to our relationship with God. And the spiritual discipline I want to encourage us in uh, at this time is that of scripture memory, the memorization of scripture. Uh, for some of us, we, we might find scripture memory very difficult. We, we might find memory, uh, memorizing things in general, uh, very difficult. But I want to encourage us uh, in this practice. Uh, we mentioned last time uh, the discipline of study and the importance of studying the Word of God, of understanding the Word of God, so we can rightly understand who God is, and the impact of that uh, for our lives. It's important that we understand the Word of God. It's important that we get the Word of God uh, inside of us uh, as well. Uh, some of the scriptures uh, encourage this idea of scripture memory. Psalm 119 uh, is a great psalm uh, that encourages us to memorize uh, the Word of God, the law of God, scripture. In verse 11 of Psalm 119, the psalmist writes, I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Uh, to treasure the word of God, uh, in this case to, to memorize it and hold it dear inside of us in order that it might remind us at any point, any time, any place what it is that God would have us to do. Also in Psalm 119, in verse 105, uh, the psalmist writes, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. One of the beautiful things of scripture uh, is that it can and it does guide our way through our days. And as we memorize it, then we have it there with us as we walk through life, and it truly can be a light onto our path. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8, we read, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. So there's the idea of meditating here on scripture as well. Um, I want to encourage memorization uh, this week. And one great way to be able to meditate on the word of God as we go through our day is if we have pieces of it memorized. Because then again, we take it with us everywhere we go. We can go over it in our mind. We can think about it. We can speak it. Uh, and in and, and this way, be meditating on it day and night. Psalm 1, uh, the psalmist writes, Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers, but their delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither, and all they do they prosper. In order to meditate on the word of God day and night, that our ways may be prosperous, that our deeds might be right, we need to have this word uh, in us. We need to know it, at least pieces of it, by memory, so that we can meditate on it throughout our day, the places we go, uh, in, in the midst of the things that we are doing. I think of the passage in Matthew 4, where Jesus is led out into the wilderness and tempted by the devil. And the devil tempts Jesus to do specific things. And I encourage you to go to read this account uh, in Matthew 4. And when Jesus is tempted by the devil to act in a certain way, Jesus recites passages of scripture back uh, to Satan, which correct 
what Satan is calling Jesus to do. These passages of scripture direct Jesus in the right way to act, in the right way to live. These are passages that Jesus knew and had committed to memory that prospered him in his interaction uh, with the devil. So again, we, we want to get this word inside of us so that we might act accordingly, that we might not sin, that we might prosper in our interactions, that we might properly engage with the world around us. Memorizing scripture is a way to set our minds on the things that are above uh, rather than the things on earth, as Paul uh, called the church at Colossae to do in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 2. Matthew 28, the Great Commission, I'm sure some of you have this passage memorized already. Jesus came to them, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Jesus came to his disciples and he said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. As we go about making disciples, teaching them everything that Christ has commanded, how much better, how much more equipped we will be to this task if we have some of the teachings and sayings of Jesus committed to memory, if we know them and take them with us again throughout our day. One more verse I want to leave you with to encourage you in this discipline of memorization of Scripture. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. If this is what scripture can do, why not commit parts of it to memory? That we might be led in the ways of our Lord and our God. I encourage you to check out our Spiritual Disciplines series uh, referenced on our church website uh, for some practical tips on scripture memory. Uh, there's some suggested verses to memorize on that page uh, and, and tools to help you uh, as you dive into uh, not only the study of scripture, but the memorization of the word of God in order that your ways uh, may prosper as you seek to live the life God has called you to live uh, by the grace given us in Christ and the power of the Spirit among us. Blessings on you in this task of memorizing the Word of God.